in this video we will be talking about blum blum shub pseudo random generator uh, in my last video we have talked about few other algorithms to generate random numbers one of the algorithm that i've talked in my last video this is linear congruential generator so in the linear congruential generator as the name exp uh, explained this is a linear congruence and this was given by xi which is congruent to a times xi minus 1 plus b mod m and I've explained that this is very much closely associated with solving the linear congress, which linear congress looks like AX congruent to B mod M. So at this moment, these A and B, these are the any integers. And of course, these are different from them. I mean, the outlook looks same that there is a variable and we want to solve what is A times some variable plus B and the output we store as a random number. Now, this is quite easy to solve because of the linearity the decision uh, the degree corresponding to this decision variable x this is one now in blum blum shub pseudo random generator we use a non-linear congress and we use this congress xi congruent to xi minus one square mod n and as you can see that here the degree is two so the degree is two so this is a non-linear congress and if you watch some of my previous video in the number theory so this is some problem which is associated with discrete log problem or we may say this is something related with the finding of index of an integer a and for the index we also have studied something related to primitive root so this problem is considered to be hard in comparison to the previous problem which is the linear congruential generator and so you can see that we use in the rsa system so in the rsa system we uh, have the setup of if you choose two large prime p and q and let n is equal to the product of the two prime so rsa encryption which is public key cryptography we start by selecting two large prime and we say that n is equal to p and q so this n is given as a public and we do not know what how to factor this uh, into the two large prime p and q so this factorization is also considered a large problem so here our seed x naught which i will use in my above blum blum shub pseudo random generator seed x naught is such that that the gcd of the seed with this n is one and then we use this congress so that means uh, we consider that such type of the pseudo random numbers they are quite truly uh, random numbers and they will be difficult to crack if somebody try to know what would be the next pseudo random numbers so let's try to just uh, take some seed and try to generate certain numbers corresponding to some p and q so now we have this algorithm we have p and q large primes and n this is the product of these two large prime and as we said you can choose the seed x naught with the gcd of x naught and n is equal to one i'm going to take this non-linear congress as i've explained this is something related to discrete log problem and to find this uh, x once i give a seed to find the next one next xi i will be using least non-negative residue modulo n for each i so this till here i can generate a random number suppose we want to further generate the uh, bit sequence so bit sequence is only the elements uh, 0 or 1 so in that case the random number which is generated is further congruent to some bi bi is the notation i am using for bit and put this as modulo 2 so of course with respect to modulo 2 we will have least non-negative residue as either 0 or 1 so that will give us the sequence of zeros and 1 now in this example p is equal to 11 q is 19 and n this is the 11 into 19 that is 209 and the seed is x naught which may take 100 so we can see that gcd of 100 and 209 that is x naught and n their gcd this is 1 so this satisfy our conditions so we can find the first x1 to find x1 we see that we can put x naught square x naught is further congruent to 100 square and this i want to calculate uh, what is the least non-negative residue here with respect to modulo 209 so now we can note that 100 square this is this quantity 10000 so this is 47 times 209 plus the remainder 177 so when i divide uh, this uh, number 10000 by 209 I will get 47 this is the quotient and this is the remainder so this means the remaining number is a multiple of 209 so we just have to leave the least 
non negative residue so here i will put 177 now consider x1 as the next seed and we find x2 which is congruent to x1 square and this is congruent to 177 square and again we can see what is 177 square this integer is going to come up 3 1 3 2 9 again when i divide this by 209 i will get 149 into 209 plus 188 as a remainder so 188 will go here and then you have mod 209 to handle this we could have also used in the other way either you can use the normal division or we could have also seen that 177 itself is congruent to minus 32 mod 209 so because if you take uh, this minus 32 on this side this will become 209 and 209 will divide this so now there is a basic property of the congruences that you can raise any positive power so suppose i raise on both sides square so here i will get 177 square and 32 square is 1024 so you can see that we are working with a smaller number earlier i was working here with 31329 and now you have 1024 so there are various ways by which you can solve the congruences now you can divide it by 209 so this is 4 into 209 plus 188 so we get back to the same remainder 188 so reducing this you can use various other properties of the congresses and whichever work the fastest this uh, number will be unique if you are trying to find a positive remainder with respect to mod 209 now continue doing like this for the next seed and we can see here the next x3 which is congruent to x2 square and that is 188 square this is similarly comes out to be 23 mod 209 and x4 which is congruent to 23 square this is further congruent to 111 mod 209 now continue doing like this and it generates the random numbers so we got the random numbers as initial seed is x0 then we got 177 then we got 188 23 111 and so on so these are the random numbers that we have generated now suppose we further want to find the corresponding bit random numbers so bit sequence so if the question is only about the random numbers we can stop here but if you also want to know what is a bit sequence correspondingly so in that case we can see this 100 100 number this is leaving the remainder 0 because it is fully divisible by uh, 2 so you just see that what this random number behaves with respect to modulo 2 so corresponding to this we will say that the bit sequence this is 0 and i will consider this as b naught so sometime uh, if this is my seed we know what is a seed we can actually start the sequence considering from b1 b2 and b3 sorry so we here i need to write b1 b2 these were the random numbers so now let us see b1 b1 you can see this is odd so this is 1 this is 188 so this will become 0 and then to get the third bit this is 23 23 is corresponding to 1 111 again this is odd so this is corresponding to 1 and so on so this is our fourth bit so this way we can get the corresponding bit sequence and depending upon if you don't want to consider seed we will consider this as the random bit sequence and these as the random numbers.